All right, so we're gonna go over today what happens when someone just does Hoo! Yeah, now what? <laughs> yeah, and we really wanna break that habit. I want you to first breathe and just relax because when we tense up and your shoulders are up, I can predict what you're gonna do, okay? So now that we're here, um, I'm gonna let you go, but I want you to think about going in circles with the arms, okay? So go ahead and hold on to my arms and try to grip me really, really hard. Yeah, and I'm going to simply, this is, that's all you got? Okay, so I want you to see how easy this is. I simply go in a circle. That's it. So hold on as hard as you possibly can. And ta-da! Easy, right? So hold on again. Now we want to go, every, every piece of energy that she puts into me, it has an exit point. There's an entry point and an exit point. I have to figure out where that exit point is. So go ahead and let go of me again. No, let go of me. Let go. <laughs> she doesn't want to let go. Okay, so I come off and I come off. So hold your arms out. And when I go in to attack you, watch my arms. I go and I go forward in a circle, right? I come forward and I hold on. So what you wanna do is reverse that circle. Make me go back in the same direction I came. Make sense? So I come in and I go in a circle. Now you reverse that and go here and I'll push into me. And that's gonna make me come off. Okay, so when I come into you, I do that. You want to pull back out of me, doing the same thing. It's always a circle. Now also, think of threading the needle, that energy. Um, all of our body is energy. So whenever I hold on to you, I'm putting my energy on you. You want to go in a circle around me. Okay, so hold on to me again. And when you hold on to me, the exit point is right there. That's how I want to get out. I want to get the skinny part of my wrist out through that hole right there. Okay? And your job as the attacker is to make sure that I don't get to that skinny part. So what happens, usually a girl will try to pull this way. And that's not good. That makes the fat part of my arm try to pull out. I need to get the skinny part of my arm and now I can get out of there. Make sense? So let me hold on to you. And look at that. That's your exit point. So turn this that way. Now the exit point's there and now you can pull out. Make sense? So try that on your own. Twist that way and then pull out. So I'm gonna hold on a lot tighter. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot better. Now I'll do this. Um, we'll do it like a, a hip hop move. So you, let me see if you can see me. You, uh, you're holding on there. I want you to twist and throw. Yeah, really throw down. Take your whole body down with your legs. Go. Whoo. So we, we twist and then sit, way lower. So get lower than me, okay? So if I'm here, go ahead and twist and you have to sit down hard with your legs. There you go, and really fast too, really fast. Nice, do it on the other side. And then sit, cool? And, and it is hard and the more we breathe with it, the more it's gonna help, okay? Yeah, and it will hurt the wrists a little bit. And the better you get at it, it'll feel like a dance. So do it to me again, hold on to me. As she holds on, I can twist around that way, do it again. I can also go down that way. Either way, I'm bringing my core and my legs into it. When I use my arms and I try to do stuff, my arms aren't gonna be very strong. When I use my core or I use my legs, that's where the power is, okay? So let's do that again. We're here, and I call this ta-da. So like a magician, you're gonna say ta-da, okay? So when I hold on, take that thumb and pull it out to the side and pull it way out wide. Yeah, because my thumb's not gonna be very strong. My, my fingers are. So you can twist me upside down and then you can pull out there, okay? So twist it out. Yeah, it's very hard for anybody to hold on to that. So I'm, I'm helping you because I'm going, I'm holding on very light and also you're going slow. So now take a deep breath in and go fast and let go. Really, really fast. Crazy fast, so fast I can't see it. There you go. Nice. Now also, the smaller we make our circles. When you make your circle really big, it's very easy for me to feel that. So hold on to me again. Okay, 
So if I make my circle really big, you can predict that. If I make my circle small, you can't predict that. The small circle is gonna help. So just like a doorknob, hold on to my hand right here. And just like a doorknob twisting around, go ahead and twist with me. Like you're gonna open a door. There you go, and twist it both ways. That's what you wanna do with your hand. So when somebody holds on to you, just like you're gonna open a door, open that door really quick. There you go, cool? Okay, so now let's do it with both arms. I come in again, I'm here, what do you do? Yes. So also, uh, the next thing you wanna do with that is turn it into the 7-Eleven. So you're there, bring it around 7-Eleven. Same stuff with the feet. That's the last piece of that whole motion. So I come in, I hold on, now you 7-Eleven. Cool. Um, now if somebody doesn't let go and you're still having a problem with them, hold on to me again and try to not to let go no matter what. What I'll do is I'll take the hand around and then I'll snake it twice. I'll go two times. I'll go one, two, one, two. So you can go twice and that'll make sure that they get off of you. So if I hold on to you, one, now I'll go two, yeah. The second time is what really breaks the hold. I know the, the wrists hurt, but let's do it one more time and go one, two, really hard. One, two, <laughs> yes, nice. So you're taking somebody and you're teaching them how to get away from straight energy and everything I've taught you today, it's all circular energy. And that's the idea of this. So take that into your motions and learn how to have circles with your energy and also 7-Elevens as you're making circles. Great job.